Hello and welcome back to another video on Chalice Collectibles with me, Josh. Just going to be a quick one today as we run through some of my latest purchases and then at the end I'm going to talk about something special that I've got planned for the next video on Monday. First of all guys, just want to say thank you for the support, it's been phenomenal. If you are watching this and you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscription button. Um, currently doing plans for the 1000 subscriber giveaway, so more to come on that. If you are watching and you have subscribed, please hit the like leave a comment and yeah, so we'll get stuck in. So these are my latest purchases. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, at Chalice Collectibles, links in the bio, uh, you would have seen some of these, but uh, we're gonna start off with something that came today, which I haven't put out there, which is immediately going back out. This is the Astonishing Ant-Man. This is Marvel premiere number 47. The first appearance of Scott Lang as Ant-Man. Now this is immediately being sent out to CBCS where it's gonna get signed. So I need to bag them, get that all prepped this weekend, send it out, and then, yeah, that'll be coming back in the future uh, for that. So, yeah, I, I like this cover as it is. Um, and I can't remember who the sign-in's with at the top of my head. That's going to bug me. Um, but I saw that it was being done, and I was like, oh, that'd be cool. Check through my issues. I was like, oh, damn, I don't have one that really that fits. Um, and then this came up that it was available, and I was like, perfect. So, yeah. So there's that. Um, then we're moving on. Theme to the end, the black suit theme. I've spoken, I've spoken before about uh, wanting to complete my black suit sort of run. There's a few more that I want to get, but I'll get them eventually. So this officially brings me to the end of my big black suit and venom hunt. First off, is Marvel team up one four one. This is the tide for the first appearance of the black suit. You've seen previously I got the 252 Amazing Spider-Man. This is Marvel Team at 141. It is a low grade, as you can see right there. That is where what looks like a price sticker previously. Um, so I'm just getting into grading and I've it's a mid-grade. I, I, I've put it as 5.0. I need to practice more, but this won't be sent off to be graded because of that. What I will do is I'll get it in a fresh bag and board uh, with Mylar and then I will put it in the top uh, top loader um, to be displayed and I will just do it that way. Moving on, another one that I won't get slabbed and what I will say about the 141 is that at some point I might upgrade it um, and it's the same with this one. So this is the Amazing Spider-Man 316, the first cover appearance of Venom. Now, if you've been watching the channel for a while or you have checked out uh, some of my old videos, you will see that this is the one that I highlighted at the beginning of the year as one that I was looking to get this year. It's absolutely blown up in value since then. Um, I was originally looking to get a graded copy, but it's just blown up in value. So I picked this one off of eBay. Again, it's a, it's a mid-grade sort of thing. There's a big uh, print uh, color break fold there which will knock it down. There's a few things. So again, it's probably not going to get graded. It's going to, um, again, rebag it, reboard it with Mylar, put it in a top loader, and then that, that'll be how it's displayed. And again, might be one that I look to upgrade further down the line. Now with that, it was actually a double purchase. It was this one, which is why I bought it. And then this, which is 317. Obviously the continuation, and it is a... Another Venom cover, although not fully, he's sort of like there and the goo and everything like that. Another McFarlane cover. Um, and yeah, and that pushes it on. And then finally, I've spoken about this previously. I've got 361, already slabbed. Got 362, you guessed it, 363. It's the end of the uh, Carnage conclusion uh, from his introduction. And it is that big head issue. Now I haven't done a I haven't done a preliminary preliminary look at grading and stuff on this, but looking at it now, it looks pretty clean. The corners are quite tight. Um, I can't see any stress marks whatsoever. The corners, yeah, I, it looks it looks in good nick, which is great. So yeah, that's that. It's so like I said, just a quick one today. Um, and if you are interested in what I've been alluding to grade, it is this. My Holy Bible, the Overstreet Guide to Grading Comics. Now, interestingly enough, I thought Overstreet was just a reference to like, you know, over the street. Like, yeah, that I don't know. I don't know what that would mean, but 
That's what I thought. Actually, it's not. It's done by Robert M. Overstreet. But anyway, so this is what I've used. It's coming really handy. Um, I'm just going to practice just to, just for my own benefit, so that I can say, is it worth sending? Because it's worth, like, if it comes back at this grade, it's worth this much. And also, when I'm selling, it helps me get more of an idea so that I can maximize well not not just not I wouldn't say maximize value but so sort of, sort of, I don't like overcharge as well if I'm selling something and it's a pretty naff copy. Um so yeah so there is one two three four five here these are my latest purchases that's what the focus of the video is but I just want to talk about Monday's video which is very very special um which I've wanted to do for a while and I finally finally do it so later today I am picking up a collection, or it's actually being dropped off to here, actually. I'm picking up, or well, I'm getting my first collection. Um, talk about the details and go into it on Monday, but got it off Facebook Marketplace. Really, really excited. There's a few there's a few gems in there, uh, potentially. It is a modern one, um, and this is, this is something that I've wanted to do, um, like, for ages, you know, get comics, have a look at them, bag them, board them, dispatch, you know, keep the ones that are key. It's just... Just fun. So that is going to be Monday's video. So I'm really looking forward to that. I will probably record most of it tonight, ready for Monday. Um, but yeah, just a quick one today. Going through the latest issues, um, which one's your favourite? I would probably have to say, for me, although I love the big heads and I love 141, for me, 316, this is, in my opinion, alongside Lethal Protector, the best Venom cover ever. I prefer it to Spider-Man 300, which is the first appearance of Venom. This, of course, has been um, done as a homage a few times. Um, it is disappointing that this is the lower grade, but it is definitely one that I will probably pick up in the future in a higher grade. But for now, that's that's it. That ties off my black suit collection. As I said, there's a few more I'll pick up in the future. So that means, for me, the focus is moving forward into Tales of Suspense, 58 when Captain America comes in, right through to 99, and then Captain America 100 to 200. So I'm going to start off getting the keys for that, which you'll see in upcoming videos. Um, and then with a lot of the filler stuff, I'm going to try and save most of it to do in shops when things start to open again at conventions and things like that. Um, so yeah, there we go. That's today's video. Please hit a like, please hit a subscribe, and um, I'll see you guys on... Uh, on Monday. Um, if I am wearing the same shirt, it's because I recorded it on the same day. Um, I'm not that scruffy. But yeah, thanks again for the support and I will see you guys next time.